I have a deck of cards here. Very simply, I just want you to touch the back of one card. Touch the back okay. of one. I'm touching the Perfect. Back. Take it out. Take it out. Okay. I want you to look at it. I want you to show the entire audience. You can show Jimmy. It doesn't matter if I see it, actually. Oh, it, doesn't it doesn't even doesn't matter. matter. Scarlett has chosen the Five of Hearts. The Five of Hearts. Very good choice. Scarlett, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write your name really big across the face of that Five of Hearts. Really, really big. He's going to put this on eBay. As I've seen this. <laughs> In case the magic stuff doesn't Perfect. work Perfect. Cap that pencil so you don't get dirty. <laughs> I'm going to let this dry off. I want everyone to get a good look at what the Five of Hearts looks like with Scarlett's name on it. Scarlett, it would be fair to say that this card is the only card in the, the card entire world. The card say your name. This is it says Raffi. Well, I thought I would just... Well, there's no way I could have known on. that, correct? No. Perfect. Absolutely. Scarlett, I'm going to take your Five of Hearts with a Raffi on it, and I am going to fold it in half, just like this. I'm going to fold it in half again, just like that. And Scarlett, here's where the weird part comes in. What's going to happen? I know, I'm freaking out. That's what I said. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Scarlett, yes, sir. can you please open your mouth? Holy <laughs> crap. Just a little bit. Perfect. And Scarlett, uh -huh. can you please bite down on your card uh -huh. and hold it there? Okay. Perfect. Scarlett, we're going to take the next card in the deck. Next card is the Eight of Spades. The Eight yeah, of we're gonna Spades. Go we're going to go through the, the whole eight deck. Of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> You got that Sharpie? Where'd that Sharpie oh, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scarlett, I'm going to take that Sharpie. I'm going to do the uh, exact same thing with the eight of spades that you did with that five of hearts. Uh -huh. I'm going to write my signature, my name, really big across the eight I of spades. It. The eight of spades with my name on it. Give me that cap. I'm going to cap that pen. Right. Fantastic. I'm going to do the exact same thing with that eight of spades that we do with your five of hearts. Talking a lot of saliva. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the dentist. eight of spades. Yeah. I'm going to fold it in half and fold it in half again and again. The eight of spades goes in my mouth. Jimmy? Can you grab that pen one more time? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, God. Watch close. I don't want to touch the card. He's going to eat the card. Oh, here? Don't. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is not a trick. This is... <laughs> The worst. I'm just trying to kiss Scarlett. What the heck is happening? Oh my God. That is crazy. Scarlett? What? Did you feel anything? Yes, I did. <laughs> I felt nothing. Hey, by the way. <laughs> I kind of felt something too, Scarlett. <laughs> Scarlett, I'm glad you did because, because now, in my mouth, no. I now have. Scarlet's no five of hearts. Open it up. <laughs> hey! Scarlet now has <gasps> my card. Oh, is that oh, How did that happen? How did that happen? You have made a deal with the devil. <laughs> Joe and I are about to face off in a game called Box of Lies. Here's how it works. Upstage are a bunch of boxes containing objects neither of us have seen before. Taking turns, Scarlett and I are going to select a box, open it on our side of the table, out of view of the other person. You remove the object from the box, show it to the audience, then look at your opponent and tell them what's in the box. You may be lying. You may be telling the truth. Your opponent has to guess either lie or truth. If you guess correctly, you get a point. If you guess wrong, the other person gets a point. First one of two points wins. Here we go. Scarlett? You're a guest. Please pick the first box. Which one should I pick? Fire! 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 One? Four. Four. Okay. Four. Four. All right. It looks like it's a light box. All right. Hint number one. Oh, man. Four. Perfect. That's the one I saw in rehearsal. You're lying. <laughs> no, okay. That's not the game. No way, dude. Oh. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> uh huh. Oh boy! It is <laughs> a hot dog bun shaped like the Hulk. <laughs> oh my gosh! A hot dog bun shaped like the Hulk. Wait, you're laughing. So that means you're trying to fake me out because maybe it really is a hot dog bun shaped like the Hulk. <laughs> Which would be very reverse psychology of you. 
very actory of you, which you are an actor. What? Close your hands. What is it? <laughs> yeah, you know it's right in front of you, man. What do you think? It's, it's a hot dog bun in the shape of the Hulk. How, how is that even possible? <laughs> you have to get a Hulk mold and bake. Oh, this whole thing's a, I'm not a baker. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say it's impossible. I'm gonna say you lie. Damn it! Yes! Who <laughs> <laughs> <What> was it? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's me and Gumby yeah, sitting, yeah, on yeah, sitting on a park bench. sitting on a park bench. That's kind of good. You should keep that one. Which number? Should, which number? <laughs> Gosh, I didn't know that we had, uh, had uh, allowed to have bricks on our show. <laughs> Okay, all right, and, uh, hmm. This is so stressful. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's, 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 it's a fun thing. A lot of people can use it and have a great time with it. It's a mannequin head. With, uh... Diamond eyes and a uh, uh, speedo cover over the eyes, so you can go swimming underwater if you have diamond eyes. And it's usable because it's fun. You could use it, put it around your office, and it's a good time. I can't tell whether you've taken a lot of pauses because you're trying to psych me out. But I cannot imagine that anybody would think to make a mannequin with diamond eyes and like a, a little speedo a goggle cover thing. You don't think. Sometimes, you know. Wait, it, did Wiz Khalifa make it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say there's no way, right? You tell ah! me. <laughs> that is terrifying. Wait a minute. Like, so what if it just, if there wasn't anybody there and it oh, just yeah. like came Oh, out. that's it's frightening. Yeah, I don't like that's frightening. Sorry. All right, all right let's do one more because now, because I totally uh, destroyed on this and I totally won two, two zip. So I basically won the game. But the bonus, <laughs> the secret box, if you choose the right number, is worth a thousand <laughs> points. <laughs> so let's do one more round. Okay. Scarlet, you pick. People love this number. I'm not, ah, okay. ah, I'm not even looking at the number or the box or how you carry it over. Move, here, I have to move this out of the way. <laughs> oh my God. Take it, it's oh, so creepy. Please, okay. I, they took it, it came from my dressing room. Uh, <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Whoa. Okay. All right. I'm ready for my ready for my hint. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just yeah. I I fell into its yeah. eyes. So it has eyes. <laughs> it is a potato. <laughs> Close. Mm. Um, it is a plastic. Cup. Mm -hmm. It's a plastic cup filled with beans. <laughs> uh, baked beans. It's a cup of beans. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say this right here. So if it's a plastic cup filled with beans, that I can maybe get. If it's a jelly belly or some type of thing like that, you can glue it together and you stick it in a box and you can carry it off the box. If it's baked beans, <laughs> that means that it would glob around a little bit, like, you know, fall over the box, beans everywhere. Total nightmare for my crew to clean up afterwards. <laughs> Don't see that happening. 
but maybe you had a very steady hand by handling that box. <laughs> Plastic cup full of baked beans. Hmm. <laughs> it's a Starbucks cup. I saw you was at the Montage Hotel. Yeah, the in Montage. Montage sounds like a, 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 a part of the part of Pretty Woman where Julia Roberts is trying all the dresses and it's a montage. Yes, no, it's, it's not. A, gosh, not like what a great enough. hotel. It is at, a great hotel. I was at this Julia hotel. Julia Roberts is not there. She's not always there. Well, she might be staying there. Who knows? You never know. <laughs> I went there and I'm, I, we did a show from uh, Los Angeles. And so I'm, I'm out there and I was having uh, breakfast and, and then. Walks by me is Scar 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 Scarlett Johansson and your husband and your beautiful little baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is a pretty cute baby. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Thanks. what a fun baby I want. Like, partial. You I want to. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just wanted. To, I just wanted. To, I wanted to kiss the baby, but you don't do that to strangers' babies. <laughs> so I just. I kept my. Yeah. I kept you my could, distance. You could have. I could have. Yeah. Yeah. If you'd I, asked, I guess I would. Have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was fun, and I asked you recommendations on where to go eat because. You, you've been staying there for a little while, and I go, oh, I'm here for a week. Where, where should I go eat around the hotel yeah. if I, after work? And I told you to go to Sugarfish. Sugarfish, yes. Right, but... <laughs> I didn't know, because my, my, my room looked out, and there was a tree covering the last end of that. So I thought it was called Sugarbush. <laughs> and I thought... And so I thought, I thought it was you a, thought it was a strip club. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was like a strip club, or like a nightclub. So I go, gross. why would you open that up across from this First beautiful all, hotel? But the name <laughs> for a strip club called Sugar Foot. I don't know. I don't. Maybe so it might. Gross. It might be a great name for one. I have no idea. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know anything about strip clubs. I just. I don't know. <laughs> I know Sugar Bush. I just stay away from. I go. Oh, I don't know what that. I go, but I don't it know what it is. Sounds pretty sweet to me. <laughs> <laughs> but well, uh, but I, so I went to. I actually went to Sugarfish. I took your advice. I went, and it was unbelievable it was sushi. It's delicious. It was the greatest thing I ever. I went in the afternoon. I went by myself. I walked in. I went up and sat in the counter. And you know who was next to me? Uh, uh, the dog whisperer, Caesar Merlan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's Cesar, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it Cesar? It is Cesar Milan. Yeah, yes. I guess if you're, yeah, I if guess you're if what? you're... you're saying it right. <laughs> Look, no? you're Jeb Bush, I'm Ted Cruz, okay? <laughs> you say Cesar, I say Cesar. Little, little Cesars. <laughs> <laughs> piazza, piazza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, piazza little... is a different word than piazza. <laughs> <laughs> piazza, piazza, piazza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little siazers. I got to call Dominos. Okay, th those are just all wrong pronunciations, though. <laughs> Clearly, mine is right, though. His name is Cesar. But isn't his it? friends call him Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you were drunk at that moment. I was, I was. I did have a lot of sake with him, yeah. Well, I figured I walked over to Sugarbush. Why not? Do what you got to do there. <laughs> Good. Come to the stage. <laughs> She's no dog. But we're gonna whisper all the time. How exciting! You have your own movie, Black Widow. You have your own uh, Marvel yes. movie. Yeah, we it's... just finished it a couple of weeks ago. We shot the film in London. Yeah. Come on! I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to share it with everybody. It was, it was, it was fantastic. It really was. I mean, I'm partial, but yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, it was, it was honestly, it brought a closure to me that I needed. Really? Yeah, because yeah. I was kind of, you know, wiped out after that last one. I mean, yeah, emotionally literally. and literally. Yeah. 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 By the way, I didn't know, and I haven't talked to you since then, because we couldn't say anything. We weren't, Marvel didn't allow you to tell me any news at all. Especially that. Especially that. Yeah, that I was mean, a big one. Everyone knows, right, what Sorry. happens? Well, well it if doesn't you don't matter. know, we're yeah, there yeah, yeah. Um, there's very few certain things, but, like, definitely... That's pretty certain. Yeah. Right? Yes, and, of course. And, yeah, definitely for sure. And then, uh, but people will not, they just don't want to, they won't. Believe they it. definitely don't believe it and, and have tried to convince me that I, my character did not actually die, but that maybe my character exists in an alternate universe or, but no, I think death is a pretty is it, final thing. Did you, uh, did you take anything from the set? Um, did I take anything 
from the set? Uh, this is a question that I would ask because I would take something from the set. If I was there, like, I would, I'd be like, I, I'm so excited to be in a Marvel movie. Like, I'm never going to be here again. Like Captain America shield. Yes, I would Why take. Yes. Why are you going to take that? I'm going to take Thor's hammer. Marvel, you're going to get arrested. I'm going to take Thor's hammer. What are you going to do? Arrest me? That's better press for the movie. <laughs> Hello, Mar Marvel should hire me. <laughs> Uh, uh, congrats on your engagement to uh, Colin Jost, who we love Colin so much. Thank you. Uh, and he was on the show. <laughs> he was on the show recently with Michael Che, and uh, he. Oh yeah, I saw that. You did, yeah. yeah. And Michael said he's like, I hope he he wants to throw his bachelor party. Oh no. <laughs> he said. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> really, you don't, you won't let him do it. He says well, if Colin throws it, it's going to be during the day and boring. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like if he throws it, it's going to be like by the Port Authority. <laughs> and like, it's going to be very local. I don't think that's a good idea. No, you don't tell us that's not going to happen. None of you know where the Port Authority is because you're all from out of town, right? Yeah, yeah. Or you do know where it is? Port Authority, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, that's, it's, it's that's really, where it yeah. should be, though. That's, that's where it should no. be. No! <laughs> You can't go. Yeah, it's not gonna, I, Michael's not throwing it. <laughs> He's not. All right. He, Is this a thing now? No. It's not a thing. Michael? I, I think Michael. I know where you work, Michael. <laughs> yeah, Michael, do not throw this party. Yeah. Um, no, I, well, I love Michael very much, and um, we'll yeah, see, he's, we'll see he's what a delightful happens. guy. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, let's talk Stay about... Stay tuned. You have two movies I want to talk to you about. One is Marriage Story, uh, where, man, oh, man, you're getting great buzz on this and great reviews. It's you and Adam Driver. Yeah. And uh, it really isn't so much of a... It is a marriage story, but it's, a, it's very much a, a divorce story as well. Yeah. Uh, and is it Noah... Uh, Noah Baumbach. Well, Noah Baumbach. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's... Squid uh, and the Whale, uh, Green, Greenberg. Yeah, we're really excited about, uh, about the film. It's gotten... It, people really seem to have a kind of... Like, they're, they feel... People have an experience when they watch it, I think, because if you haven't gone through a divorce... Um, lucky you, um, <laughs> then you either your parents have or you know someone, you know, it's all kind of in there. And uh, there's just the thing about this film, though, is that it's um, there's a lot of love in this movie. It actually has a it's what's left, what remains between the two characters is a lot of love. It's very touching and um, it's yeah, it's I'm really proud of it. We did we did a lot of hard work on it. So. And, and on the other side, yeah, is this bizarre and awesome comedy called uh, Jojo Rabbit. Yes. And this is, if you, if some people have seen it, but if you haven't seen it, can you, how do we describe it? Oh, my gosh. A World War II, G Germany. You, do, you were supposed to do the heavy lifting on this one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to make it uh, funny, uh, but it is very unbelievably funny. Who is this director? It's, it's, very, it's Taika Waititi, um, and who directed <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. He did so many great things, and he, <laughs> um, okay, I'll try. Yeah. Okay, it does take place in Nazi Germany. Not exactly a, a hilarious time or place, but um, it, it's it. Gosh, why? Why? All right, you want me to do, it? do this? Okay, you do it. It's a little boy <laughs> named Jojo. Right, that, uh, Jojo. He's um, ten years old. Right, who's uh, that? That I play uh, Jojo's mother, and and the film. He is um, a character who has lost his. Father and he is desperately missing him, and so creates this imaginary kind of father figure who's like the 10 year old imaginary version of Hitler, and he's in the Hitler Youth Program. And so it's this kind of stop. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, no, but it's you, you, you'll, you'll see trying. it when you see it. You'll, you know, it's, just go see it. You'll see it. It's, it's really, great. really, yeah. It's so unusual. It's uh, so fun. You it's have so, a great so connection colorful. with that with that kid, though. Uh, he was amazing. Roman, oh, he's such a he's so funny and great in the movie. His delivery is so. Charming and natural and great. We're so charming and perfect together. And I he's love lovable. He's a lovable kid. It's a, the movie has so much heart. It has so much hope. It's so unique it's and original. Unique and, and you'll never forget it. it. And audience freaked out. Yes. Hey, hey, hey.